Hey, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, create this cool planetary scape in Pixelr. The idea is to um, have multiple layers erase the background of of the sky and reveal the planets, and then to do a nif nifty trick of flipping um, a second layer of the uh, planets so that you can have a reflection in the water. Have fun. Our project's going to begin with finding what we're looking for. In this case, we're looking for some planets. If you type the word planets, you're going to get the scientific poster-looking planets. That's not exactly what we want. What we want is some kind of artistic representation of plant planets. And now you get this kind of like crazy-looking sci-fi stuff. Planets, artistic, space, art. When we find what we're looking for, what we want to do is we don't want to copy or download any of these. We want to click on it first. We want to get to the original source and we can download it by doing save image as to our computer and then upload it to pixel art. Like this one, for example. You can also copy the link. Choose copy image address. Load URL. We could download the file or we have the option right click copy image address. Notice how it says .jpeg on the end? That's when you know you have the correct URL address. Next, we need to find landscape. If you type landscape, you're going to get quite a variety of different things. But in our project, I provide for you a folder that if you change it to block view, you can see the images. If you click list view, you don't see the images. So in block view, you can locate one of our local images. And with this picture, you're going to want to download it to your computer. Next, we're going to Go to Layer, add Image as Layer. I'm going to select our file. And what happens is it is sitting on top of the planets. What I'm going to do now is remove the sky selecting the river layer I'm going to go to the eraser and I'm going to erase the sky I'm going to zoom in to be sure I am not removing any of the mountains in the f in the background If you have a lot of detail, you need to scroll in to that detailed area, reduce the size of the brush, and continue on with your erasing. Then select the background. Use the select tool and drag the background up or the foreground down so I can use the background move it up and or move the background down 
I could make the background down and remove some more sky or I can keep the background higher or I can keep the foreground up to where it is. Next, select the foreground layer. Go to adjustment and choose levels. Click on the left tag, pull it in until you get the desired level. Grab the right tag, pull it in or out as well. And then eventually grab the middle one and choose a level that makes sense for the environment. In this case, we want the foreground, that's the river, to be darker. We're assuming there's no atmosphere for light to bounce off of. This looks like there is atmosphere and moisture in the air. This looks like there's the absence of atmosphere, which is kind of what I'm going for. This does not look good. This looks too dark. So play around with these levels to try to match the feel for the space that's behind it. and then click apply. In this situation, we have water. We expect to see a reflection of the planet in the water. In order to accomplish this, I'm going to show you a special trick. Right click on the background layer. Choose duplicate layer. Rename this, call it Reflection. Take the reflection and put it on top of the river. Right click on Reflection layer, find Transparency. Lower the transparency down to a low level so that it looks like it's faint ref reflection on the river. With the reflection layer selected, go to Edit, Transform, Flip Vertical so that it is completely upside down so that you see one thing on top equal on the bottom. Find your eraser, give yourself a generous size brush, and erase where the water is not. And there you have the reflection in the water. If you move the reflection, it won't match what's above. So don't do that. When you are mid-project and you'd like to save your progress, click File, Save. Choose PXD Format. Replace the name with the title of the project and your name preceding it. In this case I've named it Murphy Planets Project. Choose download. Save it in your downloads. In order to return to your pr previous project in Pixelar You enter the project and you can open the project. If you don't see the layers over here, then it is not a project file. It's a finished file. 
so try to find the one with the layers open if you want to continue working. With this project, the mountains here have a lot of haze on them, so they don't quite fit. So I'm going to remove those. On the river, I'm going to erase those mountains because they do not look good. There's too much of atmosphere on them. When you're done with your project, choose File, Save. In this case, we're going to use the JPEG format. Rename your file, please. Call it your last name plus the words Planet Project. Choose high quality. Choose the highest quality possible. Click download. In Schoology, click on the assignment. After you've read the directions, click submit assignment. Click on file. Notice how there's two files here. One of them says PXD. That is your project file. When you are loading PXD files into Pixlr, you're asking to continue working on that project. The PNG file is a photo file. It can be used everywhere, including Schoology and Instagram. So you choose the one that you can see, not the white icon, and select your project. Make sure that it has your name on the file and .jpg afterwards. Add a nice comment. And then click Submit. You are done with this assignment. I hope you enjoyed it.